which condition presents with painless rectal bleeding in a child and is due to ectopic gastric mucosa a hirschsprung disease b meckel's diverticulum c into susception d ulcerative colitis correct answer b meckel's diverticulum meckel's diverticulum is a small pouch in the small intestine that some babies are born with it is a leftover part from the baby's development in the womb sometimes this pouch has stomach like cells that make acid which can cause sores and bleeding in the intestine it usually shows up as painless blood in the stool and surgery may be needed if it causes problems A newborn with a scaphoid abdomen and respiratory distress most likely has a diaphragmatic hernia b tracheoesophageal fistula c coanal atresia d pneumothorax correct answer a diaphragmatic hernia congenital diaphragmatic hernia allows abdominal contents into the chest This compresses the lungs and causes respiratory distress. The abdomen appears scaphoid or sunken. A child with eczema, thrombocytopenia and recurrent infections likely has a SCID, b Wiscott Aldrich syndrome. C ataxia telangiectasia D chediac higashi syndrome correct answer B wiscott aldrich syndrome was syndrome is a rare x linked genetic disorder characterized by a triad of symptoms eczema thrombocytopenia and recurrent infections it is caused by a mutation in the wasp gene which plays a crucial role in immune cell function Which heart defect shows egg on a string appearance on chest X-ray? A. Tetralogy of Fallot. B. Truncus arteriosus. C. Transposition of great arteries. D. Coarctation of aorta. Correct answer. C. Transposition of great arteries. Transposition of the great arteries creates an egg on a string look on X-rays. The egg is from the misaligned aorta and pulmonary artery. The string is the narrow mediastinium from thymus shrinkage. This happens because the aorta connects to the right ventricle wrongly. Babies with transposition of the great arteries turn blue at birth and need immediate care. A child with chronic cough, foul smelling stools and failure to thrive likely has a asthma, b cystic fibrosis, c tuberculosis, d gerd. Correct answer b cystic fibrosis. This triad of symptoms that is cough, foul stools, poor growth is classic for cystic fibrosis. Newborn screening now detects most cases early. The chronic cough suggests recurrent lung infections due to thick mucus buildup. Foul smelling stools that is steatorrhea occur because pancreatic enzymes can't reach the gut to digest fats. Failure to thrive results from both poor nutrient absorption and increased calorie needs from lung disease. A sweat chloride test that is more than 60 millimoles per liter confirms cystic fibrosis. Early diagnosis and treatment with enzyme supplements and airway clearance improve outcomes. Classic feature of mumps infection in children is a coryza and cough, b parotid gland swelling, c maculopapular rash, d gastroenteritis. Correct answer B parotid gland swelling
mumps infection is most recognized by painful swelling of the parotid glands that is parotitis this swelling gives a chipmunk cheek appearance this typically occurs 16 to 18 days after exposure and lasts 7 to 10 days about 30% of cases may have no swelling complications can include orchitis in post pubertal males or aseptic meningitis the mmr vaccine has dramatically reduced mumps cases A child with barking cough, inspiratory stridor and steeple sign on x-ray most likely has a epiglottitis b foreign body aspiration c croup d bronchiolitis correct answer c croup croup or laryngotracheal bronchitis is viral in origin croup causes a characteristic barking cough and stridor The steeple sign is seen due to subglottic narrowing. Which congenital infection classically presents with periventricular calcifications and sensorineural hearing loss? A. Toxoplasmosis. B. CMV. C. Rubella. D HSV correct answer B CMV CMV stands for cytomegalovirus congenital CMV infection is the most common viral cause of birth defects CMV classically causes periventricular calcifications visible on brain imaging along with sensorineural hearing loss other features include microcephaly hepatosplenomegaly and petechiae a child with pica spoon shaped nails and pallor is most likely suffering from a thalassemia b iron deficiency anemia c lead poisoning D vitamin B12 deficiency correct answer B iron deficiency anemia the classic triad pica coelonychia and pallor strongly suggests iron deficiency anemia pica that is craving to eat non food items like ice or dirt develops due to iron depletion coelonychia that is spoon shaped nails occur from nail bed changes in chronic deficiency pallor reflects low hemoglobin levels iron deficiency is confirmed by low serum ferritin microcytic anemia on cbc and response to iron supplementation a neonate with micrognathia cleft palate and airway obstruction likely has a down syndrome B Peer Robin sequence C Treacher Collins syndrome D Edwards syndrome correct answer B Peer Robin sequence Peer Robin sequence is also known as Peer Robin syndrome PRS it is a rare congenital birth defect characterized by an underdeveloped lower jaw that is micrognathia a backward displaced tongue that is glossoptosis and often a cleft palate these features can cause breathing and feeding difficulties in newborns a child presents with hyperactivity poor concentration and impulsive behavior the likely diagnosis is a autism b adhd C conduct disorder D oppositional defiant disorder correct answer drop your answers in the comment section below for downloading pdf content and for latest updates follow our telegram channel i have given the link in the description below
If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.